Okay, just hiking along the uh, Paul Creek Forest Service Road again from our campsite. Brother and uh, there's a view off in the distance. Just walking down the Forest Service Road. Some really nice scenic shots. There's the uh, forestry roads. There's my brother. We're going to go down this road and just uh, gorgeous up here. And we came from down there. Yes. This is the reason I want a really good off-road vehicle. I no longer like going into the national parks where there's way, way, way too many people, too much traffic, too many people. We were out here down the back roads, virtually by ourselves, nobody else around. Occasionally, once in a blue moon, you run across a, a hunter, uh, but that's only like you know, once every second day or something, and only once during the day. And uh, virtually, this whole big area is to ourselves. You need a good off-road vehicle. We had to leave the ZJ, the 97 Grand Cherokee at home because we had some problems with it. We had to take the, the WJ 2004 Jeep, but the, it's a shame because it, it's not as capable and there's a lot of roads we cannot travel down. But next year we want a, a good, reliable off-road vehicle and I want to have good off-road vehicles to do the backcountry exploration, which is now my new hobby, which I enjoy a lot more than crowded, congested national parks. Yes. Another fantastic view we come upon. Zoom out a bit. Log roads over we came from that direction. One logging road that ends near the top, right across. That's where we went yesterday. And there's the Beaverfoot Valley down there. We took the wrong fork, but uh, we might be trying to go to that one logging road right across. If you look uh, for a pointing one. Okay. We want to go to that logging road and hug the tree line up there. We're going to go towards that direction and go there. Anyway, another gorgeous view up here. Came across some uh, pretty big Weird looking mushrooms. My brother, give it some scale. Pretty weird looking mushrooms. Come across some bear shit or bear scat. Uh, looks like it was eating rose hips because there's a lot of rose hip uh, seeds in the scat. Or maybe no bunch berries. Bunch berries or rose hips. It looks red. Yes. And uh, just a new glance, gla glance of what's uh, behind us through the trees. There's some good sceneries oh, yeah, and, and you could uh, see through the trees, maybe. And you said the mention. Yesterday we came across a bear that started running away from us. The day before, we ran across a bear and it also started running away from us. And it's the third bear we've seen uh, in the last week. In the last week, we've seen three bears a moose and a calf and a lot of deer. So there's wildlife to be seen around here.
came across a rabbit. Tons of rabbits around. There's here. tons of rabbits in the Beaverfoot area. It's very easy to hunt all those things. Yes, wood. They just stand, sit there. Hiking back, rabbit. <laughs>